Hello, um, today I'm going to show you how I make my homemade vegetable soup. I'm going to turn my camera around if I can. I'm okay, gonna... here is my roast. It's just a regular uh, Czech roast from Kroger. Um, and I'm going to take it and leave it dry and just throw it into my crock pot. I have my crock pot on high and I'm just going to throw it in there. Um, not add anything to it and we will check on it in a couple of hours. Okay, I'm just showing you it is completely dry and it will make its own juice. Okay, it's been three hours and I just checked on this roast. It's in here and it is finished. See all the juice that's in the bottom? It, I told you it creates its own juice. You don't have to add anything. So right now what I'm going to do is I have, um, I'm gonna put probably half of this onion, I'm gonna cut it up and put it to the side. I'm gonna peel a one potato and I'm gonna go ahead and boil it because I like to have my things cooked so I can add them into the soup already cooked at one time. So I will go ahead and boil that until it's cooked. And then my pasta, I like to put I like to put pasta in, in my soup. I, I like the texture of it. It makes it thicker. So I'm going to go ahead and cut things up and boil things. And when I come back, all that will be finished. I just wanted to show you I'm no chef, nothing fancy. I wanted to show you I kind of cube the potato. And then I'm just putting it in a pan of water until I'm ready to boil it. But just cubes, that, about that big. And it doesn't take uh, long to boil at all. Um, maybe 10 minutes and then um, put that in a colander and then the pasta I showed you earlier um, and just get it all cooked and ready to go into the uh, vegetable soup. Okay, all I did was cut up the onion and add it to the pan, and I'm going to take my roast out of the crock pot. It cooked for about three hours, and see all that juice? All that juice we will be pouring into the pan, but I'm going to cut this up, this roast, and I see all that fat? That's probably not good for you, but it adds a lot of flavor to your vegetable soup, so you don't want to throw that away. So, and here is my, um, the potato and the pasta is boiling and I will put that in a colander and add this to the bowl also. Okay, I have cut the meat up, so in the pan right now you have onion, potato, and uh, the roast beef. And I like to put a can of green beans, and I drained the um, juice out of the can. I don't know if that makes any difference. Um, a can of corn. Forgive me, this is the first time that I've filmed with uh, my cell phone. I'll get the rest of that out after I finish. Um, peas and carrots. Okay, crushed, I like a whole, this is a big can of crushed tomatoes. I'm going to put that in, I'm going to stop filming while I put that in because I'll make a mess. But I will put a can of crushed tomatoes in, and I think what makes all the difference in the world in taste is tomato paste. And it makes a world of difference in the flavor. So I'm going to add those two things in. I'm also going to add my pasta in, and I will show you what that looks like in just a minute. Okay, I added in the pasta and the tomato, the crushed tomatoes and the tomato paste. Also, I had added in all the juice from the roast that cooked. So now, you just want uh, to let this simmer. You want to um, add some water. So that there's more juice it's hard to film and cook at the same time 
I guess you have to learn to look through the phone a lot to see what you're doing as your screen. But anyway, I will let this simmer. I'm going to add, there will be lots of salt and pepper added to this. I know that looks like a lot, but I promise it's really not. And I will stir that up and we'll check back in a little while after it's this is simmered and I'll show you what it looks like and it will be yummy. Okay, the vegetable soup has been simmering. I'll show you the and it looks delicious. Big hunks of meat, carrots, peas, everything. Now my mom, she uh, she would make hers with um, pinto beans and um, all kinds of beans and cabbage. And I just, I don't feel like I need to have all that. So really I just have the basics in this, but this is the way we like it. This is the way my kids always liked it. They don't like a lot of green stuff, so this is something that they will eat, and uh, they're getting a little green in their diet, um, whether they like it or not. <laughs> so, but that's it. It's finished. That's how I make my homemade vegetable soup. Bye.